Our top story, Qatar says it's pulling out of OPEC effective next month, January the 1st. The decision comes just days before a crucial meeting of member nations of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries on December the 6th. The announcement was made here in Doha. Our correspondent, Charlotte Bellis, joins us live from outside the World Trade Center in the middle of the Qatari capital. Charlotte, what's your reading of the timing of this? Well, we asked him specifically about the timing because he said that they will be pulling out of OPEC in January 2019. Uh, they are the first Middle Eastern country to do so. They said that they have been thinking about it for a couple of months uh, and that in order to pull out of OPEC, for 2019, they had to do it in this calendar year. The OPEC meeting is on December the 6th, and they said that they didn't want to go to that meeting and be involved in budget discussions, uh, approving various things, and then uh, blindside the members and pull out after that. So that's why they've decided to do it now. But it cannot uh, be... Uh, you must take into consideration the tension between Saudi Arabia, who is the, the leading uh, oil producer in OPEC, uh, and its, its tension with Qatar uh, after that. They imposed a blockade on Qatar in June 2017. Uh, their relations really haven't improved, uh, and so th this follows that. Charlotte, let's pause for a second, because the Minister of State of Energy Affairs for Qatar says this move will help Doha to reach necessary levels of expansion. It has become clear to us that achieving our ambitious strategy and und undoubtedly requires, requires focused efforts, commitment, and dedication to maintain and strengthen Qatar's position as the leading LNG producer. Therefore, based on that requirement, as well as the size of our oil production, the state of Qatar has decided to withdraw its membership from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, effective January 2019. This decision was communicated to OPEC this morning. I would like to reaffirm Qatar's pride in its international standing at the forefront of the natural gas producers and the biggest LNG producer in the world as the cleanest fossil fuel known to mankind, which has given Qatar a strong and resilient economy. Charlotte, you mentioned the blockade of Qatar there. Clearly, these things do not happen in a vacuum. Does that mean that this decision on the part of the government in Doha will be politicized by some people around the region? Well, I said to him, what is the political uh, kind of reasoning behind this decision? And he said, I do not want to politicise this. Uh, he called himself a gas man and a businessman. And he said that it's just inefficient, quote, to continue in OPEC and that it is more efficient for Qatar to continue in uh, gas. He said that they are a small player in OPEC. They really don't have much potential in oil. And that they said it's, it's almost a distraction uh, for their gas priorities. Priorities. Uh, in this press conference, he also stated that they are going to increase uh, natural gas production from 77 million tonnes per annum to 110. It's a huge increase. And he said that they will be, in order to get to that level, they need to invest heavily and that they will be announcing international partnerships in the coming months to help them get to that. So almost a pivot away from uh, the Gulf and oil towards gas and uh, more kind of global partnerships. Charlotte, thanks very much. Charlotte Bellis, live for us there in Doha. Well, Mustafa El Bazagan is an international oil economist. He says the move will impact neighboring Gulf countries. The emphasis that they will uh, increase their production, and especially when uh, they are producing, uh, I mean, regionally, the uh, largest producer after Iran, that means definitely they will be one of the uh, larger players in the gas market. Uh, so it will be really, uh, I mean, uh, effective for this decision. It's not only a, an economic, uh, it's a political decision, especially the relation with the other uh, Gulf countries. It's not that uh, good the last uh, 18 months. So definitely it will be affecting uh, the, the, the decisions of those countries too, especially when we are now, we are waiting for the, uh, OPEC uh, meeting in Vienna uh, this week, so it will be really uh, a shock to the other members of the OPEC this time of of what what we are. I mean, the market suffering from uh, very low prices.